Well, folks, welcome to the North Woods of Minnesota. It's the first week of June, and we are going to be pitching jigs at walleyes and finding them using side imaging. I've got a Hummingbird Helix here with Mega Plus side imaging. And side imaging is one of those tools that's going to help you put more fish in the boat. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be driving around this flat that uh, should have some fish on it. They're going to be anywhere between 12 and 16. But side imaging is what I'll always use to try to start targeting in areas that have fish. Now I do have Garmin LiveScope in the boat with me. And so using Garmin LiveScope with the Hummingbird side imaging is one of the best combinations that you can have. The side imaging is gonna show me 60 feet out to each side, the left and the right. And then usually I can stay on the schools of fish once I find them, even if we're catching fish, that school's gonna move a little bit and we can stay on them with live scope. But today we're not gonna use live scope. We're actually gonna uh, mark the fish using side imaging, cast at them using side imaging, and just show you that uh, when you mark some of those fish, 30 to 60 feet off the boat, you're gonna have a lot better shot at catching them versus driving over them with your 2D sonar. There's a school. I'm about 60 feet off the back of the boat, which is where my transducer is. And I'll take a couple casty the area and just kind of fan cast that general area where I marked them. As far as jigging, I'm just giving it a pop, holding my rod up high, letting it fall to the bottom. Reel up a slack or two there was a hit on my fall. There we go. Look like there's a school of about six or seven. Nice little eater walleye. About 13, but. All right, waypoint 16. Where are they, about 40 back there? Nice school fish, I just hit spot lock. We're in 15 feet of water. And when I'm looking for fish, I'm usually using the trolling motor unless I'm deeper than 20 feet. And the reason for that is I having live scope has actually allowed me to see how much fish spook off of you when you're using the big water, when you're using that big motor in shallow water. And so I use this motor, and so I set my speed usually to about a two, sometimes a three when I'm using the trolling motor. I'll do a four or five when I'm using the big motor. That way you get a little bit clearer picture. In general, you're gonna wanna set the speed on your side imaging to whatever speed you're moving the boat is uh, what they recommend. But I found I'm really only moving at about a mile an hour, maybe a mile and a half. That a two or a three when you're going that slow tends to give me a little bit better reading. The other thing when you're working a jig, this is perfect. Work that jig all the way back to the boat. It does seem like if you drive over them, they spook, but they'll follow it all the way back into the boat. And a lot of times, as soon as you get it close to the boat, your jigging cadence changes to more of a vertical. And a lot of times that's what gets them to trigger the bite, just like this fish did right here. Nice walleye. Be a perfect one for the frying pan, but we're letting them go today. Waypoint 19, they're at 60 feet off the back of the boat. We're 
spot locked. Now you might be wondering why if I have Garmin's, why I added a hummingbird to the boat. I honestly just think that the, the Mega Plus imaging is better. And I've seen some of the new Garmin side imaging. It looks pretty good. It might be comparable. But I have some pretty old units. My Garmin units are seven or eight years old. They're the GPS map series, which actually I have a video out so I can record the live scope for some pretty sweet videos. And the other reason is I've got a Tarova on the front of the boat with a link. And I love using that link if I'm trolling to follow a contour without having to do anything. The other piece is actually a controlled drift where a lot of times if I'm fishing deeper mud flats or edges and a lot of wind, I'll use follow the contour to just keep me there as we drift down that contour. And it's really super helpful, especially in a lot of wind for controlling the boat and staying right where you need to stay where those fish are. Not a lot to this, just driving around flats. We're just following a 14 to 17 foot edge, marking them with side imaging and pitching our jigs out to them. And they are, as you can see, they're, they're schooled up in groups of four to 10 right now. And usually if you find schools like that, one of them is gonna eat almost every cast. Now you might be asking why, after I'm done catching this fish, when I grab a minnow pitch back out there, it was a big school, there's probably five or six on there. I've been up here for a couple days fishing these fish. And what I've noticed is every time you catch a fish, that whole school will scatter. They'll move 50, 60 yards. And so we'll kind of just keep driving around looking for the same school or a new school, but I know that they're moving after we catch that fish. So there's no sense in grabbing another shine or pitching out there. Waypoint 30. I don't know, there must have been 20 or 30. We went spot lock. So as far as color goes, blue is my favorite. I think you can see the shadows just a little bit better. And when you're looking at side imaging, you're looking for a hard return, which is gonna be white, and a dark return, which is gonna be that shadow. And I can see those shadows the best on the blue, so that's what I go with. As far as the settings go, I have my contrast right in the middle at a 10, my sensitivity's in the middle at a five. Hummingbird came out with an update about a year ago called Dynamic Contrast. And if you're using a Hummingbird, make sure that thing is turned on. It really makes those shadows pop. And if you don't have it on your Hummingbird, go do your update because that was a huge, huge update to be able to see these fish. Nice school back here. Look like there's about 10. They're at 60 feet. A lot of times I do like to work into the wind and cast the sides. I was coming in a little bit in shallow. I moved out deeper quick and saw the school on my right. Went out to 16, 17, didn't see anything. Seems like fish have moved in a little bit. There he is. Sun's getting a little bit higher. Fish are starting to slow down a little bit with their bite, but you can still get them. If you've got side imaging in your boat, you find that you're not catching fish, add this to your toolbox. You'll easily be able to add more walleyes. When fishing's a little bit harder, 
fish are a little bit more spooky. But if you can pitch jigs to them when they're away from the boat, you're gonna be a lot better off. Mm -hmm.